Hello. Hello. Hi, Gustavo. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Very good, teacher. You're very good. I'm really glad to hear that. How about yes. the rest of the class? ¿Cómo estamos los demás? Let me see. Okay. So now I can see Guadalupe, Ruth is right there, Glenda as well. Jorge, I can see you, very good. How are you? How are you today? I'm right. Right. Do you remember the expressions that we were using in some of the classes? If I ask you, how are you today? I feel good today, I'm happy, I'm tired. Remember to practice those expressions, okay? What day is it today? Who can tell me? Today is? Is it Monday, Tuesday? What day is Wednesday. it today? It's Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday what? Can you give me the complete answer? Wednesday? Mm -hmm. April 20th. Don't forget, we use original numbers 20th, 2022. 2022 or 2022. Yes. Don't forget to practice. So, Wednesday, yesterday, we were talking about past, simple past with regular verbs. And we were having some examples about uh, spelling. How is the correct spelling for some verbs, okay? That was the first topic from yesterday in section number four. So I'm really glad to see you today. I'm still missing some students, but I hope that they are going to join the class in some minutes, okay? So it's time to start the class. It's time to start, let me check. What class is this one? This is class number, who can remember? ¿Qué clase vamos ya? Class number, look, class number 11. Time flies. Tiempo vuela bien rápido. So, the same, we still have section number four. Did you have fun? And we are going to practice, again, verbs in past. But in this case, we are going to practice pronunciation, okay? This is class number 11. And let's start the class right now. So look, uh, in previous classes, we didn't have the time uh, of having this activity at the beginning. The tongue twister. So look at this one. We are going to start with this tongue twister. So everybody can participate okay i really want to listen to you and i know you can do it so the tongue twister for today it's about the word understand understand que verbo es este understand es el verbo entender entender Entonces, ¿cómo va nuestro fun twister de este día? Si tú entiendes, di, entiendo. Si no entiendes, di, no entiendo. Pero si tú entiendes y dices, no entiendo, ¿cómo yo entiendo que tú entiendes? Si al final nos hace una pregunta, ¿entiendes? Sería la idea básica en español. En inglés. No entiendo. No entiendo. <ríe> Bien, me encanta. So, if you understand... Escuchen bien, under, es como la preposición under, under, y luego tenemos stand, stand, understand. If you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. 
But if you understand and say don't understand, how do I understand that you understand? Understand? Okay. One more time. Let me try so I can do it a little bit faster. Mientras tanto, todos vamos practicando, okay? If you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. But if you understand and say don't understand, how do I understand that you understand? Understand? Si se fijan la última, la entonación para pregunta es understand. Sube la entonación al final. Esa es para pregunta. One more time. If you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. But if you understand and say don't understand, how do I understand that you understand? Understand? Algo así va. Okay. One more time. La última vez repaso y vamos con volunteers o los primeros que tengo. Eh, quiero ver los primeros que tenga acá en mi pantalla. If you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. But if you understand and say don't understand, how do I understand that you understand? Understand. There we go. Este es un tongue twister término, creo que era, es un medio. Pronunciación media, ok? So let's practice this tongue twister for this class. Do I have volunteers? Yes. Or no, who is ready to start with this? Tongue twister, let me stop sharing. Déjenme dejar compartir. Do I have volunteers? I have Jorge. Who else? Come on, say me teacher, don't forget. Don't be afraid to practice. So Jorge, you are going to be the first one and you are going to pick your classmate. Jorge va a elegir quien sigue, okay? Y así vamos a ir uno por uno, so. Let's start with this tongue twister right now. Are you ready, Jorge? Yes. Yes, okay, go ahead. Here we go. If you understand, say understand. If you understand, say don't understand. But if you understand and say don't understand, how do I understand that you understand? Understand? <laughs> One more time, Jorge, faster. I know you can do it faster. One more time, Jorge. Okay. If you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. But if you understand and say don't understand, how do I understand that you understand? Understand? Great intonation at the end. Very good, Jorge. Who is next? Who is next to participate? I see, I see. <laughs> Lupita. Okay, Lupita, are you ready? Yes. Yes, very good. So, three, two, and one. In you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, Say don't understand, but if you understand and say don't understand, how do you understand that you understand, understand? Excellent job, very good. You know, you did an excellent job. How do I understand that you understand? Very good. So Guadalupe, who is next? Very good job. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, three, two, and one. Go. If you understand, if you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. But if you understand and say don't understand, how do I how do I understand that you understand? Understand? Great job. Did I great? Who's next, Gabriela? Mm, let me see. Yanira. Okay, Yanira, are you ready? I'm mm ready. -hmm. Yes, teacher. Very good. Go, please. If you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. But if, if you understand and say don't understand, how do I understand that you understand? Understand. You did a great job. Excellent pronunciation, Yanira. Tell me the name of the next classmate. 
who is going to participate? Um, huh. um, <laughs> <laughs> Glenda. Okay, Glenda. Are you ready, Glenda? Yes. Very good job. So go ahead, Glenda. If you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. But if you understand and say don't understand, how do you, I understand that you understand, understand? Great job, great pronunciation and intonation at the end. Glenda, who is next? Josue. Okay, Josue, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, go, please. If you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. But if you understand and say don't understand, how do I understand that, uh, that you understand, understand? Okay, you did an excellent job, Josue. Josue, who is next? Who is missing? Quien falta? Who is missing? Um, Ivania. Ivania. Are you ready, Ivania? I think so. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and try. If you understand, say you understand. If you don't understand, say you don't understand. But if you understand and say you don't understand, how do I understand that you understand? Understand? Okay. ¿Cómo lo sintieron clases? Del 1 al 10. How was it? Was it great, right? She did it a little bit faster. Excellent job, Ivania. Ivania, who is next? You. Gustavo. <laughs> Gustavo. Very good. Let me see. Gustavo, are you ready? Okay, teacher. Go. If you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. But if you understand and say don't understand, how do you, how do I understand that you understand? 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 Excellent. Gustavo, next one, please. You did a great job, Gustavo. Mm, Ellen Nilsson. Okay, go ahead. Are you ready? No, bien. There you are. I can see you right now. Está cuidando el gallo. Hey, yeah, and, and the rooster. How about the rooster, Ellen Nilsson? Oh, yes. no está. Ya se lo <laughs> okay, go. Three, two, and one. If you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say do understand. But, but if you understand and say don't understand, how do I understand that you understand? Understand. Okay, understand. Excellent job. Ellen Nilsson, who is next? Um, Samuel. Okay, yes. Yeah. Carlos. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lorena go. también. Lorena, Ruth. Y okay, Rita. Cool. <laughs> so just pick one. Solo elige uno. Elige uno. Uh, Rita. Okay. Let me look for Rita. Are you ready? Está almorzando. Okay, so no. Um, don't worry, don't worry. Next. Alberto. Alberto. Let me see, Alberto. Are you ready? Hola. Yes. Very good. Job. Go. If you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. But if you understand and say don't understand, how do I understand that you understand? Understand? Oh, you understand? Excellent job, Alberto. Who is next? Mm -hmm. uh, Carlos. Carlos, go ahead, please. No está. He's not. <laughs> Let me check. No, he's not there. Okay, who is missing? I'm missing. Lore. Lore and, and Ruth, right? Uh oh. Evan Nilsson. Okay. <clears throat> if you understand, Say understand. If you don't under, understand, say don't under, understand. Esa palabrita me va a decir cómo se pronuncia. Eh, 
by if you understand, um, say don't understand, how do you, how do I understand that you understand, understand? Okay, understand, very good. So, la palabra understand, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa, Lorena? Mm. Understand. Uh -huh. Sí, muy bien, understand. No olvidemos que... Under es como uh -huh. una palabra compuesta. Stand no lleva E al inicio, sino que es el sonido de la S. Stand. Understand. Okay. Understand. understand. Very good. So, understand. Okay. Yes. Lorena, who is next? Es como... uh, Ruth. Ruth. <laughs> Very good. Job. Ah, sí. Go <laughs> <laughs> if you... If you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. But do, by if you understand and say don't understand, how do you understand that you understand? Understand? Okay, understand, excellent. So who is missing? I guess everybody. Uh, okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Samuel. Have... Yes, no, Samuel is. It's right there. Yeah, Samuel, right? Carlos and uh, Edenilson. If you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. But if you understand and say don't understand, who do you understand that you understand? Understand. Okay. Understand. Samuel, let's repeat. Say. 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 Very good. So say. So tell me who is next. Can see you, Samuel. Who is um, next? Eden Nilsson. Okay, go ahead, please, Eden Nilsson. Yes, he's there. <laughs> if you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. But if you understand and say don't understand, how do I understand that you understand, understand? Really nice pronunciation. Excellent job, Edenilson. Thank you. And who is missing, Edenilson? Uh, Carlos. Carlos, go ahead, please. Okay, Miss. If you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. But if you understand and say don't understand, how do you understand that you understand, understand? Great job, understand. So let me stop sharing. Who is missing? Nobody, right? Did everybody participate? Yes. Oh, yes, right? Yes, you did. Todos, todo, ¿verdad? So, look, algo que sí este, resaltó bastante, me gustó bastante, Eden Nilsson resaltó bastante la pronunciación de don't, don't, al final decía la T bien marcada, don't, don't, eso es bueno, don't be afraid, no tengan miedo de exagerar la pronunciación, ok, don't, so, do you understand? Yes, we do, ok, we understand this tongue twister, very nice job, you see? You are improving your pronunciation and your confidence. Están mejorando también su seguridad al hablar inglés. Very good job. So this is the one for today. And look what we have right now. Yesterday we have sentences in past. So I have from number one to number 10 negative sentences. What do I want you to do? I need you to say the opposite. Not negative sentence, but affirmative or positive sentence. Yo se la digo en negativo y ustedes me la pasan a affirmative or positive. Le llamamos también positive sentence, okay? Ready, quiero ver si recordamos algunos verbos en pasado. Number one, Ruth. I didn't graduate from high school. ¿Cómo pasamos esta de negativo a afirmativo? I didn't graduate from high school. Uh, 
I didn't graduate. ¿Cuál es el verbo que vamos a pasar a pasado? Graduate. I didn't graduate from high school. I, I did, I, no. I, gra, I graduate, graduate, graduate from high school. I graduated from high school. Very good job. I, I exactly. One more time. I graduated from high school. So don't high forget. School. Very good. Lo que hacemos es, we don't use an auxiliary anymore. Y al final agregamos D o E D. Okay. So don't forget the rules. Very good job, Ruth. Ivania, number two. She didn't study in the library. She studied in the library. Very library. good. Library. In the library. Very good job. She studied in the library. Carlos, number three. They didn't watch a movie yesterday. Okay, this is a negative sentence. I need you to say it in positive way. La vamos a hacer siempre en pasado, pero afirmativa. Number okay. three, they didn't watch a movie yesterday. I watched movie. Uh, how do you say bajo cero? Down zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. I watched the movie Down Zero yesterday. Very good. So they watched a movie yesterday. Very good job. And then Nilsson, number four is for you. We didn't work late yesterday. We worked late yesterday. Great job. Lorena, number five is for you. You didn't plan your birthday party. Okay. Mm -hmm. Five. Yes, number five. You, you planned your birthday party. Very good job. Ahora está en pasado y afirmativa. Gustavo, number six. He didn't talk about his girlfriend. He talked about his girlfriend. Very good job. Number seven, Jorge. He didn't jump on the bed. He jumps on the bed. Great job. Number eight. Gabriela, John didn't play soccer yesterday. John played soccer yesterday. Great job. Number nine, Janira, this is for you. Number nine, Kit didn't enjoy eating ice cream. Uh, kids enjoyed. Eating ice cream. Very good job. And number 10, Ellen Nilsson. It didn't stop raining. It uh, stopped raining. It stopped raining. So class. ¿Cómo se sienten con este ejercicio? Tenemos la seguridad de pasar oraciones negativas en pasado a afirmativas siempre en pasado cómo se siente si se fijan esto es solo pronunciación speaking practice cómo sienten este ejercicio si está tenemos claridad de cómo se hace yes or no yes, yes right stop driving Ajá. tenemos que quitar stop. entonces no yeah. more auxiliary y el verbo lo pasamos 
o lo convertimos en pasado. Todos estos verbos que tenemos acá son regulares. Graduate, study, watch, work, plan, talk, jump, play, enjoy, and stop. Okay? Very good job. If we have time, we are going to write. Tenemos el tiempo suficiente. Vamos a escribir estos para que podamos comparar la escritura. Okay? Using the rules. Very good job. So... What do we need to do right now? We need to go to the platform and check a video, okay? Because we are going to practice pronunciation right now. Very good job. Let me see, 4.5, this is the one. Here we go, 4.5. Dice, al final de esta clase aprenderán a sonar natural cuando usen verbos regulares. Siempre estamos con los verbos regulares en pasado simple, ¿ok? Pronunciation, here we go. Ok, listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when pronouncing simple past verbs. The ED ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in t, worked, watched. These verbs end in d, cleaned, stayed. These verbs end in id, invited, visited. In order to understand when we'll have a t, d, or id sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now, I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn. Watch, turn, watch, turn. Okay, so what is he explaining right now? How do I know? ¿Cómo sé cuál de los tres sonidos finales le voy a poner a cada verbo en pasado? We need to understand voice and voiceless. Los que sí suenan, los que tienen vibración y los que no tienen vibración, ¿ok? Look at this exercise. It's been útil este ejercicio. If you want, you can put your fingers, the dedos acá en the Adam's apple, le llamamos acá, o la garganta. Y si pronunciamos estos dos, miren, watched, turned. Watched, turned. ¿Cuál de los dos tiene más vibración o sonido en su garganta? Watched or turned. Watched, turned. Let me see. ¿Cuál de los dos tiene sonido? Number one and number two. Háganlo, no tengan miedo. Watch, turned. Number two, turned. So listen to the explanation. Veamos qué sigue explicando. Watch, turn. Whenever we pronounce the verb watch, watch there is no vibration. Exactly, no vibration. Apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. This is called a voice sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Len has D sound. So we pronounce the past as landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless 
and boys to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following these particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped, looked, watched, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. The following consonants have boys sound. L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. Okay. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs and then record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. Very good job. So what do we need to understand? Vibration or voice and voiceless sounds. Esa es la clave, okay? Voice and voiceless sounds. So look, let's go to the practice right now. What do I have here? I have some examples. The same from the video. These are the ones. And it's very easy to remember how do I pronounce at the end these verbs. Hay una, llamémosla acá, eh, una clave, okay? Hay algunas consonantes en inglés que ya eh, de por sí son sin voz, voiceless. Y están en esta columna, la segunda columna. Y hay otras que ya, al pronunciar los verbos que terminan con esas consonantes, son voiced. Tienen sonido. ¿Ok? Entonces ya existen listas establecidas para que les ayuden a pronunciar. What are we going to do? Let's practice and then we are going to have this exercise. I don't know if you remember, ya tuvimos una práctica grabando nuestros audios y compartiéndola en el foro eh, de la plataforma. Entonces vamos a hacer lo mismo, practiquemos ahorita y luego nos vamos en grupo, grabamos y compartimos el enlace, ¿ok? So, I did, la finalización, it, wanted, veamos los ejemplos, wanted, wanted. El verbo es want, en pasado, wanted. Need, need it, need it. Very good job. Siguiente columna. T. El sonido de la T al final. T. Helped. Looked. Watched. What? Laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. Ok, suenan como T al final. D, sonido de la D, o sea, D. Cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used. Followed, enjoyed, amazed. ¿Para qué nos sirve este tipo de sonido al final? Para que no se confunda el verbo como que lo estamos diciendo en presente, sino que se tenga claridad que yo lo estoy diciendo en pasado. ¿okay? Por eso es necesario pronunciar. Y si es posible... Ese sonido final, exagerarlo, ¿ok? Para que se entienda que estamos hablando en pasado y no en presente.
present. Ok. Here we go. Here we go. ¿Cuáles son los que ustedes se van a grabar? Son estos de este cuadro que ya se los voy a compartir. Ok. Voiceless and voice sounds. Voices and voice sounds. Ok. Let me see. Let's practice right now. Practiquemos para que tengan claridad y no les cueste pronunciar en el recording que vamos a hacer. So let me see. Let me have, um, I have Lorena right here. Lorena, let's practice with ED sound. La primera columna, dos ejemplos. Go, ED, go. Health, uh -huh. uh, look at, dos, uh -huh. uh, what, um, Lounge. No sé cuántos. Todos, todos. No hay problema. Yes, ah, okay. continue, please. Break. Kiss. Dance. Fit. Ok. Let's repeat again. Repitamos clase. Pongan atención para que nos pronunciemos correctos. One teeth. Suena it al final. One teeth. One teeth. Needed. 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 Uh -huh. One more time. Wanted. Needed. Wanted. Wanted. Needed. Needed. Uh -huh. I want it. I need it. Ven, suena diferente. Want. Need. Wanted. Needed. Let's continue with the second column. El sonido de la T. 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 Helped. Helped. Es como que digamos el verbo en presente y le agregamos el sonido de la T al final. El verbo Looks. es help y le hacemos t. helped. Helped. One more time. Helped. Helped. Uh -huh. Siguiente helped. ejemplo. Looked. 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 Decimos el verbo look y luego le agregamos T al final. Looked. Looked. Uh -huh. Washed. Washed. Wash, washed. Go class. Let's repeat. Washed. Excellent. Excellent pronunciation. What? Mm -hmm. Washed. What? Now we have this one. What? No confundamos los dos verbos. CH y SH suenan diferente. Watched. Watch. Washed. Washed. Watch. Okay, very good. Laugh. 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 Esta G y H suenan como una F. Laugh. 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 Excellent. Breathe. 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 Tenemos el verbo breathe. 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 Very good. Now we have the verb kiss. 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 Y la T al final. Dance. 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 Okay. Now we have the verb fix. Fixed. 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 Very good. Suenan con T. Sigamos. The last column. Última columna. Sonido de D al final. D. 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 ¿Escuchen? D. Y esto tiene que generar vibración en su garganta. Cold. 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 Lo mismo. Decimos el verbo en presente y le agregamos el sonido al final de D. Cold. 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 Cleaned. 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 Offer. 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 Damage. Damage. Bien, muy buena pronunciación. Love. 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 Use. Use. Used. Used. Follow, follow, 
followed. followed. Enjoy. 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 Amaze. 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 Great job. Amaze. Preguntas. Cualquier verbo que les cueste pronunciar. Questions in pronunciation. ¿Cuál es la diferencia en la pronunciación en watch and watch? Ok, very good. Wash. El sonido de SH es como que estemos callando a alguien. Shh, shh. Ok, wash. Y la CH. Wash. Ajá. Si se fijan en watched, ahí tenemos una consonante en medio que es la T. What. Watch. Watch. Watched. Uh -huh. Watched. La S siempre es más exagerada. Watched. Es como shh. Watched. 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 La CH no suena, no tiene tanta vibración. Watched. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Any Gracias. other? Ok, you're welcome. Una más que les cueste pronunciar. Yes, no. Are we ready? Ok. If not, tenemos estos minutos que nos restan de clase para ir a Boca Roo. ¿Se acuerdan cómo ir a Boca Roo? Oh, les ayudo. Solo vamos a Google, bocaroo.com. Por eso vamos a trabajar en grupos, equipos, ok? Para que nos ayudemos entre todos. bocaroo.com. Y grabamos las tres columnas, ¿ok? Para ver si podemos diferenciar esa pronunciación. So, let me share it. Les comparto ahorita. Ya la envié a mí. Really, thank you. Eso es de mucha ayuda. Me quita muchos minutos a veces compartirla. So, me indican si la pueden ver. Bocaroo.com le damos grabar, luego copiamos ese enlace y lo pegamos en la plataforma exercise number. Let me check. Es el ejercicio número 4.6. 4.6. Very good job. Are we ready? Trabajemos en grupos ahorita. Groups of four. Trabajemos todos y nos vamos a bocaru.com. Voy a andar visitándolos. Cualquier pregunta, ahí voy a estar. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Bocaru. ¿Verdad que sí? Uh -huh. Aquí ve. Ahí es verdad. Aquí es verdad, uh -huh. Santo. Aquí es verdad. Hola. 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 Cuatro puntos que dijiste. Es que pues cuatro puntos seis que. Ya ni 4.6 como me iban a oír si no había puesto el micrófono. ¿Qué dice? No, no me escuchaban, no había puesto el micrófono, no lo había abierto. Sí, lo quité, lo que pasa es que no, estaba yo preguntando. Yo lo quité, el mío no lo había puesto. Ah, Vaya. aquí vamos, es que ya entré a Búcaro, ahí estoy. Vaya. Eve, estoy yo, Hola, no, puedo, no puedo entrar. 
sabes, patrón. ¿Y si lo hace quién a mí? Después de que yo no, lo No sé, y lo puedo hacer, o sea, en la hace. Lo siento, Irene, sí. Ay. Ya, ya abrieron su... Pues sí, yo ya tengo abierto el búcaro. Pero ah, tenemos, entonces, que ten, tenemos que tener eh, el enlace de la, de la, del, ¿cómo es? De la, de la clase. Mira, pues no puedo entrar. Y entonces. Aquí en el chat, veamos. Es que aquí en el chat está. Ahí está, en el chat. Do you have problems? Sí, Por eso, pero este no es para entrar a buscar. Necesitan el enlace de qué, de la plataforma. De la plataforma, ajá. Ok, let me see. Ahorita. Es que ahí sí que. Sí, aquí está, 4.6. Yo se lo comparto. Don't worry. Gracias. Va a decir el 4.6, yo lo tengo aquí abierto. Pero así me lo da bien grande el enlace. Ajá, vaya. Ya una vez que lo tenemos abierto, es un video. Ajá, es un video, solo que en la parte de abajo vamos a comentar. Si se fijan, es acá. Este es el video que acabamos de ver. Acá. Sí, ¿cómo está? Página no encontrada, me dice. Página no encontrada. Lo mismo. Nos dice página no encontrada. Let me try it again. Veamos. Vamos a ir a chat. Veamos. ¿Quién inicia primero grabando? Es verdad, página no encontrada. Ahorita corrijo eso, don't worry. ¿Sí? de ambos y pueden No va a saber si ya ocupa esta babosada. A que no sé qué va a ser la guadalupe. Y retroceder. Vale, la es la 4.6. Aquí estoy ya. Eso. Yo no puedo entrar porque él tiene claro esta máquina. Okay, can you try? Pueden probar con el, el, el enlace que les envié. Tal vez si les redirige a la plataforma. El último que compartí. Oh, en la, 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 en la,
Sí, la plataforma va. Sí, ese es el link de la plataforma para que entre. ¿Les funcionó el segundo enlace? Yes, no. Sí, 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 teacher. Ok, great. Ok, go. ¿Puedo ingresar, Jorge? Sí, sí, ya. Vaya, vaya a la sección 4.6 para que ahí está el video y ahí va, mismo va a subir el, el link. Aquí estoy en la sección ya. Hola. Hoy va a ser el buscador y, y, y coloque bo, bo caro con dos ojos. Sí. Cuatro punto cinco, eh, verdad. You're finished. Cuatro punto seis. Cuatro punto. Four. That six. Okay. Y qué le vamos a poner título nada. Tu nombre. Okay. Your name. Pachpita. You paste the link in the discussion. Okay, ya está ahí. Finish. Finish. No le dio problema. ¿Qué hice? Vaya, ahorita ya entré a la plataforma, está el 4.16. 4.6. 16 me aparece aquí. Ah. Sí, pero tiene que poner usted el 4.6. Retroceda. Aquí. Ah, no, aquí. Aquí. Ya, ya llegué. Okay. Vaya. Uh -huh. Gracias. Pues. Vamos entonces a cada uno a hacer nuestra grabación. Okay. No. Pero es que no lo he hecho. Por eso, ajá. Pues sí, pero aquí. Niños, me voy a levantar un ratito. Yo creo que aquí la tengo. Ok. Ay, no, pobrecito él. Esto es poco con nosotras dos. ¿Cuál es? ¿Cuál es el que íbamos a.? Estos tres van a decir. Ah. Me guanche. Ah, pues sí. Ajá, pero. Uh -huh. Mis... Vaya, los voy a grabar aquí y luego me ayudas a subirlos. Y usted ya lo hizo, Glenda. Una consulta. Solo es el verbo en pasado el que tenemos que grabar. Yes. Solo leer. El... Okay. Columna por columna. Okay. Las tres columnas. Ok, yeah. gracias. Don't worry. Go ahead.
We still have time. Todavía hay tiempo. Yeah. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes, very good. We finished. Great. Hi, Lenilson. Hi. No estaba en grupo, Lenilson. Sí, pero me sale. <laughs> ya lo terminé. <laughs> ok, don't worry. Sí. Ya vienen los demás. Don't okay. worry. <laughs> Okay, let me show you. This is what I have. Aquí tengo eh, los que me han mandado el enlace. Okay. Let me see. Creo que tengo más todavía. Solo necesito refrescar la página para ver. But you did a great job. Okay. Don't worry. Si no tenemos tiempo de finalizar en esta clase. Les tomaría uno o dos minutos más, continuar luego de la clase y enviarlo. Ok. So don't forget to practice verbs in past. Regular verbs. Ok. Verbs in past. And this is a great exercise. So you can practice. I'm going to share. Les voy a compartir también. Cuando ya veamos verbos regulares e irregulares. La lista completa. Para que ustedes vayan practicando y memorizando. Ok. So, how did you feel this exercise? ¿Cómo sintieron este ejercicio de pronunciación? Easy, difficult. How did you feel it? I want to listen to two or three of you. ¿Cómo lo sintieron? Ellen Nilsson, ¿cómo sentimos este exercise? Pronunciation exercise. Um... Difficult. Difficult, right? Okay. Es que hay unos que cuestan pronunciar, la verdad. Sí, es verdad. Hay algunos que cuestan. Si incluso no sabemos cómo se pronuncia en presente, 
nos va a ser difícil también pronunciarlo en pasado. Pero ya vieron Pasamos la clave. Pasando ese teacher. Ajá. Chao, Pasando ese teacher en, 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 el, en, el, en el, en este caso nos mandó la imagen. Yes. Eh, si nos, nos aparece ahí la tipo de pronunciación en el sonido, digamos, nos aparece la T, es mucho más fácil identificar en la forma en que se va a pronunciar. Yes, it is. Saben que incluso estoy buscando, pero creo que lo tengo en físico, me tocaría escanearlo, pero una lista completa que ya viene dividido por sonidos. Así es mucho más fácil y nos acostumbramos a pronunciarlo ya con el sonido final. ¿Ok? Voy a ir compartiendo poco a poco. Solo he encontrado una lista como de 50 verbos ahorita. Se los voy a compartir para que puedan ir practicando siempre. So classed. Los que no hemos finalizado con Boca Rule y su grabación, please take some time to send the pronunciation. ¿Ok? Así los puedo escuchar y algunos vamos a escuchar mañana al azar, algunos, y analizar qué pasó con la pronunciación y no. But what is the clue? Lo importante es, uno, sepamos pronunciar los verbos en presente y así no se nos hace difícil pronunciar en pasado. ¿Ya vieron la clave? Si lo sé pronunciar en presente, solo agrego un sonido final. Esto es totalmente diferente al spelling. Saber escribirlos es una pieza fundamental. Saber pronunciarlos es otra. ¿Ok? So, writing, speaking and spelling is very important when we talk about verbs in past. Continuamos mañana con verbos siempre en pasado, solo que vamos a ver ya irregulares. Si no han completado ejercicios en plataforma, eh, todavía tenemos hasta el viernes para completar section number four. And yes, only section four. La sección cinco la empezamos esta semana y finalizamos la otra. Ok, so class. Thank you so much for joining. Gracias por el esfuerzo que hacen también de completar las actividades en plataforma. Nos vemos cuando. See you. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, ok. Have a great afternoon. Bye bye class. Bye. It was a pleasure. Bye. 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 Bye.